welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I had someone say that they had a hard time hearing me in the cancer video. I'm not really sure why because I use my phone and I use my earbuds which are very close to my mouth. And I've been told that I'm too loud, <laughs> that I'm too quiet. I don't know. I wish I had better equipment. I do. I wish I did. And one day I will have that. But for now, I just have to keep using my phone, and I hope that you will be able to hear me. Holy Spirit, I ask that you lead me, guide me, and direct me in, in getting a reading this morning. I ask that you would please show me who the reading is going to be for. And would you please connect me with the collective. Put your divine white light around us. Allow the angels and spirit guides of the collective to connect with me to help me with this reading. Ancestors, anyone who can help me with this reading spirit, I ask that you allow them to help me so that I can get the, the message that you have. Show me please, if you will, who this message is going to be for today. Who do you have a message for today, spirit? If you're new here, my name is Christy. And I use my pendulum to find out who Spirit wants to give the message to. I'm getting Gemini. Gemini. Okay, so this is going to be a message for the sign of Gemini. I just did a message for Gemini, and I'm not sure why I'm being told to do another one, but I'm going to do that. Holy Spirit, guide me in a message for the sign of Gemini, please. Can you please help me to get a message for the sign of Gemini? What prayer do you have for Gemini this morning? Oh God of heaven and earth, it is good to sing your praises and to bless your holy name always. You do great things for us. The whole earth is full of your glory. To you be glory in the world and in Christ Jesus for endless ages. So for some reason, Gemini, you're praising God this morning. <clears throat> or if are being encouraged to. Message from the magic oracle. Spirit. What message do you have from the sign of Gemini? Out of the magic oracle. Instant magic oracle. Death, rebirth, death, rebirth. So this has a, a feel of Scorpio, death, death and rebirth, death and rebirth. So it looks like something is changing in your life, Gemini. Alright, I'm being told to use the red deck. And the red deck is Tarot of the Heart. Alright, how did this happen to Gemini Spirit? It's, um, this is only 22 major arcanas. And it gives me an idea of how Spirit is working and how this happened. However this happened, how were you working in it, Spirit? The Emperor came out sideways. Alright, so somebody is very... Uh, let's just keep going. What's being hidden? The Devil. Alright, what's being shown? So there's a devil being hidden here. The sun. Okay, this could definitely be about drugs, just saying. And what's going to happen next? It could be about anything that we obsess on. Somebody has a secret obsession. Somebody's going to lose their temperance. <laughs> temperance is about patience, self-control. Wow, this is somebody who wants something bad, and it's secretively, too. And then we have the moon in reverse, so there's a sense that there's a secret coming out. All right, what virtues are you working on in the sign of Gemini? Sagittarius is here twice. Content, patience, and forgiveness. So there's a need to forgive also. 
All right, and then we have humility with compassion. Anytime you have humility, forgiveness, and compassion, you're talking about learning a lesson that's made you put yourself in somebody else's shoes. We're content, we're patient, we're forgiving, we're compassionate, and we have humility. All right, let's see if we can find out how this happened. How did this happen to Gemini? The Emperor is a very powerful masculine energy. The Empress is one, the one that gives birth to things. And the Emperor is the one who, who holds all the power and restores all the order. Very powerful masculine here. This is an Aries energy. That's all we have Aries. We have Capricorn. We have Sagittarius. We have Leo. And we have cancer showing up in your reading, Gemini. You see shit differently. That's life with another human being. Love them anyway. So somehow you have this different kind of tune with somebody, it looks like. One more time. Breathe through that shit. Love can hurt like hell. And people are messy. Love them anyway. If you've done something to offend someone here, there's a need to forgive. Okay, Spirit, can you show me how this happened? May I see how this happened? Okay. How did this happen? Thank you so very much. Family stuff is getting on your nerves, and interrupting is for assholes. So there's somebody's family getting on their nerves, and interrupting is for assholes. <clears throat> What's being hidden, Spirit? fill in the blank. It's something with this obsessive energy, this devil energy. This can be about addictions. It can be about wanting something really bad. It can be a lot of anger. There's something here that's it's secret. Nobody knows about it, but there's something that's devilish. <laughs> All right, what's being shown is that somebody is giving too many fucks and they need to give zero. So if somebody cares way too much, okay, and there's the sun here, which is about happiness. So somebody's acting like they don't give a fuck. <laughs> All right, what's going to happen next? We're going to stop trying to control every damn thing and not be so extra and say that you fucked up. You're going to say that you fucked up. Yes, it's your fault. Say that shit out loud. I'm sorry. And then... Love the one you're with. This includes you. So this looks like there's been an argument. I'm here and use the red deck. I haven't used it in a long time. And that is Wisdom of the Oracle. To get a bit a better understanding of what is going on here for you, Gemini. Alright, uh, Spirit. May I please see more about how this happened? Not for you and co-create. Maybe you got somebody pregnant and you didn't want to be with them. Never ending story and not for you. So it's just going to say somebody wants this bad and the other person just is oblivious or doesn't care. And the fates and not for you. Alright, Spirit. How did this happen to Gemini? Co-create came out with the mending. Co-create came out sideways. Co-create and mending. So it's about this forgiveness. Co-create is about you manifesting forgiveness. All right. What's being hidden? We see that there's a fill-in-the-blank devil. This is something. It could be a secret. That somebody's going to come to the edge and be real happy. They're going to take a risk, the fool. That somebody secretly wants to take a risk. Or maybe they secretly are taking a risk that's going to make them very happy. Alright, what's being shown is that they're chopping wood. They're working on this. It looks like they're just working, okay? And then what will happen next? There's going to be peace. Y is here in reverse. And higher power came out sideways. P 
piece wine reverse and higher power with message in a bottle in reverse on the bottom of the bag. All right, so let's see what is Spirit saying here, if you'll bear with me. You're co-creating number 40 and mending number 52. I think we understand what co-create means, but I want to give us a good idea of what mending stands for here. It looks like two little children. I'm hearing gallery. Gallery. And Anastasia. Looks like there's something being mended, see? See the pink clouds, the blue sky? That could be significant. Sunset, sunrise, those times of day. And just so you're aware, we have number 40 and number 52. So we have 4 and 7. That's 11, okay? Spirit, may I see the meaning of this card? This is almost the end of the deck, number 52. You might be at the end of something. What could have happened when you were children? This could be a, a resentment that you've had since childhood. Essential meaning, forgiveness, making amends, and healing after arguments. Each time we are hurt and allow the hurt to pass through us without understanding and integration, we accumulate an unwanted burden. This keeps us chained to the very things we need to heal. The pain, the memories, the echoes of resentments and arguments that we rehearsed over and over. Now is the time for mending rifts, healing wounds, and letting go of the old hurts in order to reclaim your power. Now is the time to forgive, to release, to make peace, and to make amends to others. Set yourself free. And we see here that this is family shit and that interrupting is for assholes. Let them finish. Okay? And we also see that there's an emperor, an older, more mature masculine. This is a very powerful energy that's at work here to restore order to a situation that needs to be forgiven in your family. Okay, so it's forgiveness that needs to happen in your family. We see forgiveness here over and over again. And then we have the devil. This could be anger. You could be secretly hiding your anger about something. And it has to do with coming to the edge and being happy, happy. Coming to the edge is number 36. And 26 is happy, happy. So we have 9 and 8. So eight, nine, and down here we have 11. So 15 is six, 11, six, or two, six. That might be significant. Let's see what come to the edge is, number 36. So we understand what's going on here. Coming to the edge. This is going to bring you freedom and make you happy. Secretly, I think. You're going to have to do this. This is what's being hidden. Courage. Taking a leap of faith. Overcoming fear and accepting risk. Facing the unknown is the only choice you really have right now if you want to progress. It's okay to be afraid. Now is the time to take a risk that is not calculated. To feel the exhilaration as you ready yourself for a leap of faith. Spirit is present, so let go of fear. You are called to express your true self. Listen to your heart and soul, not your head. Come to the edge and discover that you can fly. You must step into the unfamiliar so that you may find your miracles. So, the devil here is about this anger, I think. Something's hidden that you want real bad and fill in the blank. Okay, and then happy, happy, number 26 says this. Number 26, happy, happy. I'm hearing Julie or Juliana, Kevin or Kelvin. Happy, happy is joy, joy, and contentment, a sense of fulfillment, a feeling that all is well. Your desires are effortlessly fulfilled now. Find joy in the present moment, whatever is happening, and be satisfied with things as they are. Your 
free from the shackles of longing and able to experience the liberation that comes from actually being happy moment to moment. For you have chosen happiness over yearning for it. Now is the time for feeling joy for the sake of joy and experiencing contentment. Now, none of this is because of something outside yourself. Your happiness is a result of your being at one with Spirit's plan for your life. All is well. The tide is in for now. Enjoy playfully splashing in it. So, what's being hidden is the fact that if you will take a risk to forgive whatever this fill-in-the-blank is, that this devil is in control of, this anger, this bitterness this root of bitterness you may not even know you have this as deeply as you do but there's some anger that's deep seated in here it could definitely be between two women i see two women here and the, secretly you have to take this risk for this healing okay that's what's being indicated over and over but what's being shown is that somebody cares too much somebody's giving too many fucks and they need to give zero. Or so maybe you're just pretending like you don't care. And that you are happy. But Spirit says you're not happy. You're pissed off over whatever this is. And in order to be happy, you have to have this freedom that comes for your forgiving. But instead, what's being shown is that you're going to chop wood, number 42. And chopping wood is about the earth signs, the things that we can do in the physical world <clears throat> to keep ourselves busy. So number 42, that's six, says this, being grounded in everyday experience and humility. Remember humility? There are times when the big dream is meant to lie dormant in your consciousness so that you can pay attention to the simple chores in your life. Consider why pruning a tree is the forerunner of delighting in the beautiful blossoms when it is in full bloom. The mundane act of putting off dead leaves, watering the soil, and then leaving it to be leaving it be to let nature take its course is an important step in manifestation. Taking your attention away from your goal brings you a state of receptivity. This is the deeper purpose for releasing attachment. When you engage in everyday tasks in a meditative, contemplative way, you clear your energy to receive your aha moments, which brings you ever closer to what you seek. So what I see here is I see somebody who is wanting to manifest, to co-create, okay? And part of that is forgiveness. And it's either you are this emperor or you're dealing with this emperor and family shit is getting on somebody's nerves and they feel like they're not, they're not being heard because they get interrupted a lot. When you're trying to say something, they, you get interrupted. And interrupting is for assholes. So somebody desperately happened because somebody desperately wanted to create maybe a relationship. And in order to do that, there has to be uh, an apology. There has to be a conversation where you talk about who was hurt and then your part in that, whatever, the, you know, you're only responsible for your part in things. You can't be responsible for so, someone else's part. You cannot, uh, you cannot be responsible for how they take your apology. You can only extend forgiveness, extend your apology or whatever part you played in that and how they receive it is on them. But over here, what's being hidden is taking risk so that you can be happy. And it has to do with fill in the blank and this devil, okay? And then what's being shown is that somebody's happy and they, they don't care. They care too much and they shouldn't care at all. And <clears throat> that serious thing, like, let go of this and don't be obsessed on the outcome here. Don't be asking yourself, why, 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 why? Why didn't this happen? Why didn't that happen? Why didn't they do this? Why didn't they do that? Turn it over to your higher power so you can have peace. And stop asking why. Okay? And why is number 31. And I'm going to read you what that means in reverse. Because this is going to stop you from obsessing. Or stop whoever this is from obsessing. And once we can release that, spirit can work magic. Okay? We have to release 
the um, obsession. So number 31 is why. And this is what it says when we get the protective message. This is what it means. Motives, driving, intention, the power of knowing the why. When it's in reverse, sometimes subconsciously denying the truth may, di may drive you toward a specific outcome that actually aligns with an intention hidden from your awareness. For example, you may want to be prominent in your profession, but your desire is not really about sharing your talents, but making yourself feel better because fame would cause people to admire and approve of you. Or you may want to reunite with the partner who rejected you because you believe that your love continues to be strong. But deep down, what you really desire is to have the last word with the person. Now is the time for deep soul searching of the why that drives your choices. What you uncover will set you free and bring you even closer to the happiness you seek. So you want peace. But you have to see your motives here. Why do you want peace? Why do you want this person to like you? Why do you want this person to be happy with you? Ask yourself what your motives are. What is underneath of that? And I still believe in my first assessment here. In order to have peace, you have to stop even worrying about why. Like, If you're not focused on your why, if you're not dealing with your own personal why questions and you're asking why did they... Why did she? Why did he? That would be a good indication to stop because we can't control anyone else's outcome and we can't control anyone else's motives. Only our own. So it's like over here you secretly have to take a risk if you want to be happy, whatever this unknown is. And then outwardly you you can be happy, but you're giving too many fucks. And you have to give zero. Like, you have to quit worrying about why. And you have to be grounded and work. For some reason, you're having to work. And then be at peace. What's going to happen next is you're going to be at peace because you're going to stop asking why and then trust in this higher power of yours. And I want to tell you what higher power means. That's number four. Higher power, number four. Higher power, conscious contact with the higher power, the presence of the divine, See, seeing source energy in all things and committing to a partnership with spirit. So you're co-creating and mending. You might be just trying to mend your relationship with God and you're taking a risk to come to the edge where you'll be happy and there's something hidden. I want to find out more about that. And you're working on this relationship so you can have peace with your higher power and stop asking yourself why. Your name Elizabeth, Angel, Delbert. <clears throat> All right. And then it says, this card represents or reminds you that you are more than a person trying to get ahead and make things happen for yourself and others. You have an immortal soul and are gifted with human life through which a higher power can express itself. At this time, you need to be conscious of your connection to spirit and foster it through prayer and meditation. Ask yourself, what is the highest good for all? How can I serve? Then get out of your own way and trust that there is a plan for your life more wondrous than you can ever know. You are always protected and divinely directed. And if you're in a relationship, it's time to address how much effort you give to your relationship with your higher power. Good, with your higher power called God, God is spirit, or any other name that is sacred and holy. Recognize that your partnership with spirit is your number one priority. The appearance of this card also indicates that there is a deep spiritual bond between you and another person who is essential to your growth and evolution. Tend to your spiritual connection and remain aware of your true nature. Okay? Okay. So, I'm going to put this away. And we're going to look at what healing needs to happen here. And then we'll pull some Tarot on it. Okay. Talk to me, Spirit, about how this happened a little further. Show me how this happened a little further. 
Thank you so very much. I released all criticism. All my relationships are harmonious. Freedom is my divine right. I'm open and receptive to new avenues of income. I love life and divine wisdom guides me. So you're being guided to, to free yourself for forgiveness. All right, what's being hidden? What's being hidden from the sign of Gemini spirit? Or what is Gemini hiding from others? That all is well in my world. I'm flexible and flowing. And life supports me. Alright, that's what's being hidden. That all is well in your world. That things are flexible and flowing. And that life supports you. So I don't think all is well in your world. And I don't think you're flexible. I think you're being rigid and maybe stubborn about this forgiveness. Alright, what's being shown here for the sign of Gemini? Or somebody is. It might be somebody else, Gemini. It doesn't have to be you. What's being shown is I love my body. All right, what's going to happen next? So somebody might think real highly of themselves. There is no blame. So you're finally going to forgive whatever happened here and realize that there is no blame. I release the need to blame anyone, including myself. We're all doing the best we can with the understanding, knowledge, and awareness we have. With There's plenty for everyone, including me, on the bottom of that. Alright, so let's pull some tarot. I'm hearing you just a good tarot. I'm hearing the name Nancy and Feldman or Feldheimer. Feld, Feld. Alright, Spirit, talk to me about the Emperor. Why is the Emperor here sideways? Because of the Page of Cups, Temptation, Justice. And the Nine of Swords. So there's this very small thought of love that's tempting you. This very small offer of love that is tempting. And it could be an apology. Maybe you're tempted to make this right by apologizing because it's just been so stressful. Something's stressed you out. Why is the devil here? I'm not sure what fill in the blank is. Why is the devil here? Because of the emperor in the page of swords. This can be a card of spying. It can also be thinking, like having a thought, a small thought, like thinking. Why is fill in the blank here? Spirit, you're so funny. <laughs> It has to do with an imprisonment, a queen of pentacles, a two of pentacles, the hermit, and the chariot. This could definitely be a Sagittarius, a Capricorn, a Virgo, or a Taurus. Definitely be a, a Virgo or a Taurus. Because we have Virgo here, we have Taurus here, and we have this. This could be a, a Virgo or a Taurus for sure. And we're Capricorn. We have all three earth elements here. Because somebody is longing or feeling imprisoned. And like they want things to be okay between the two of you. But they're deeply soul searching about how to overcome this. This could be you or this could be... I don't know if you are this emperor... But this is the devil card, this temptation. It's like this small offer of love is, you want it bad. You want this to be made right bad. It's like, I want this to be made right real bad. For some reason, you want something to be made right. And it has to do with this emperor who's either spying or is imprisoned with the queen of pentacles. Or they want to make it right with the queen of pentacles. Alright, what's being shown? It's a lot of cards. There's a Queen of Cups here, Cancer's here, Pisces is here, Scorpio's here, the Four of Wands, the Two of Swords, the King of Swords, the Ace of Cups, the Six of Cups, the Six of Pentacles, the Three of Wands, and the Queen of Cups. <laughs> 
here you are, Gemini, showing up. So it's like this relationship that you can't make a decision about over here. <coughs> you love this person and have a lot of memories with them. It's like a new love, too. There's a new love showing up here or recommitment to love that you remember how fair and balanced things are with that person. You're waiting for some kind of results. Verify the results. Love. Gemini's here. It's about a choice. Verify the choice. The page of pentacles came out. So that's like the thought of moving. This could actually be about moving. Why is temperance in reverse? That's the moon. I'm telling you, spirit has a secret. <laughs> There's a secret here. When you have the hermit to clarify this unknown, this uh, this fill in the blank, spirit is keeping a secret. And if you remember my yearly predictions, it was predicted that something was going to happen in March. And spirit kept showing me over and over again that something was going to happen and that it was a secret. Can you clarify this secret at all? What can you tell me about it? The Nine of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, the Messenger of Water, the Five of Wands, and the Ten of Wands. So somebody is independent. They want to be in love, though. And they want this fighting to stop. Whatever this fighting is, they might be fighting their feelings, but whatever is, whatever is being fought about, this person wants it to stop. Like, clarify the Three of Pentacles. The Queen of Swords came out. That could be you, Gemini, being single. You're single, you're loving it. <laughs> Why are they fighting this ending? Somebody's going to, somebody, you're going to get a message that somebody's going to walk away from something that no longer serves them. And it could be something legal because we have justice and see the legal documents burning. This could be the end of a heavy, heavy, heavy legal situation. They're, you're going to get a message. Somebody's going to call you and say, hey, did you hear so-and-so's da-da-da-da-da? <sighs> And this is going to be victory for this person. Show me the outcome for the person. Y'all. This is going to bring serenity and happiness that they've manifested. You've manifested serenity and happiness, Gemini. And then we have reevaluation on the bottom of the deck. Like, looking back at all of this and being grateful that it's finally over. All right, what healing needs to happen in Gemini's life for how this happened? Letting go and Phoenix rising. So letting go of the resentments because the resentments rob you of the happiness you can have in life. All right, what's needing to be healed for what's being hidden? Alchemy. So it's like, I'm not going to tell you. You manifested this though, so you already know what it is. Whatever you've been wanting real, 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 real bad, secretly wanting real bad, Spirit says it's about to happen. And you're going to finally have your son. Alright, what's being shown? That there's a soulmate. I right, what's healing for the soulmate? Or this twin flame. And what's going to happen next when we need healing for? Healing and self-love. You're going to love yourself and allow spirit to heal you. And then we have a temptation on the bottom of the deck again. Alright, what would this person that Gemini needs healing from, this soulmate, what would they secretly say to Gemini? What are they hiding from Gemini's spirit? What truth are they hiding? What truth is the soulmate hiding? I'm not going to take that many cards. One at a time, please, so the reader can interpret the cards, please. Thank you. I can be myself with you. I can't be with you, but your intellect arouses me. All right, what would Gemini say to them in case we have a cross watcher? What would Gemini say to the soulmate, this twin flame?
I know you don't feel the same. I know you don't feel the same. Uh, anything else Jim and I would say, I don't know why this happened. Uh, is there anybody else here that would say something to Jim and I? You let me down. I don't know what comes next. I won't let you down. And I do love you. So they would say, you let me down. I don't know what's going to happen next. But I won't let you down. And I do love you. So there's three people here. There's this, soul, this soulmate. And then there's this other person. And then there's you, Gemini. And on the bottom of the deck, I feel so happy with you. Would you and I say anything else to any to what would you and I say to this person in the middle? Your cards keep going on the floor. You gotta focus your energy. Your energy's all over the place. You would say, I miss being with you and you didn't see my tears. With I feel so drawn to you on the bottom of the deck. All right, what healing meditation does Gemini need? Give me some affirmations for Gemini that would help with this situation, Spirit. Though one defeats a million men in battle, one who overcomes the self alone is in fact the highest victor, the Buddha. And do not think a small virtue will not return in your future lives. Just as falling drops of water will fill a large container, the little virtues the steadfast accumulate will completely overwhelm them, the Buddha. So that's about karma, right? And then we have, it is very foolish and ignorant to realize with spite and in the hope of ending the attack of the enemy because the realization itself only brings more suffering. So we have to forgive, right, Gemini? All right, Spirit, talk to me about... where Gemini is in this journey towards healing and forgiveness. Well, what's going on with Gemini here? I don't know how I keep picking cards up backwards. May I see what's going on with Gemini here, Spirit? What is going on with Gemini? Thank you. Wow. Wow. The Divine Masculine is going through reinvention so they can have a fresh start. Alright, what's going on with this person in the middle? They are compromising. What's going on with this person over here, this soulmate? They are unawakened and commitment. Clarify unawakened. Oh, amazing. Clarify unawakened. There we go. It has to do with being an inner child victim. You could have been victimized as a child. Somebody here could have been victimized about a child or victimized as a child. And you're wounded deep down. Okay. Why is this person having to compromise? Because of a release and being guided. Guided to what spirit? that they admire somebody and they want to return. Can you clarify who that is? They're seeing signs of devotion while they've been stuck. Outcome for Divine Masculine Spirit. You're going to have union and you have big dreams. Clarify union. You have free will. What's Gemini leaning towards? A metamorphosis? Clarify that. Spring, divine timing, and separation are here. Can you clarify separation? It's something that they were bound to, and the answer is going to be yes. Clarify the answer is yes. They learned some lessons. What else? What's going to be the outcome here? Wow. The outcome is going to be, there's going to be an offer made because of a lot of destruction when it comes to numbing. The fifth dimension has been helping you with this. 
and you're going in a new direction towards your tribe. Beautiful. Anything else we need to know here, Spirit? Clarify the offer. The winter is here. What else? Twin flame and family. It says the winter. In the winter, the answer was no to twin flame and family. Or I would say it was. What's going to happen now, though? That's the offer. They had, they had said no in the winter, but the offer is coming to the twin flame and family. Clarify that to be true. Be patient, Spirit says. Sagittarius is here. Why should Sagittarius be surrender? Be patient. They're going to surrender. And you're going to get communication. Clarify the communication. They're recognizing this person is recognizing the, the, their pride and ego and not talking to you, not listening to you, and wearing a mask needs to be forgiven. Forgiveness. They're recognizing the forgiveness. And they regret that Divine Feminine, they regret that they were at a crossroads about Divine Feminine, it looks like. <sighs> oh, messages out of here for Gemini Spirit. They regret Divine Feminine and Crossroads. So take that as it resonates. Finances are a factor here. Somebody was rejected, and there's a warning about support finances rejection and warning with support so be careful about helping somebody with money or getting help from somebody with money all right anything else forgiveness you've learned the spiritual lesson outcome spirit <clears throat> that's the outcome that's the secret you want to marry this person bad Wow, I did not see that coming. Why is marriage and twin flame here? Different pages in chemistry. <laughs> wow. So yeah, you want to marry this person, but I don't think you feel it. How does this person feel about marrying Gemini? Boundaries came out. All right, what else? They need time apart. They're vulnerable because of a new love. Outcome of the new love. That could be you. This could be the, the, new, the twin flame. Strictly sexual. So they have a new love that's strictly sexual. And they feel vulnerable while they're away from you. Use your intuition. There's been interference and somebody needs to retreat. All right. Talk to me out of here about Gemini. Spirit says to get a tea. I want the tea, please, if I may, Spirit, about this new love. May I have the tea about the new love? Oh, Spirit. Spring is here. Intertwined and sparkle. <laughs> so, in the spring, you're going to have passionate, sexy times that's going to be a wish fulfillment. All right, what else? Somebody's thinking about surprising you. There's going to be a surprise twist of fate. Clarify that. A love affair. Somebody's fake. Trust and believe in the winter there was a soulmate. So somebody is thinking about a one night stand where it was fake. But they believed the winter that they were a perfect pair. <laughs> Somebody may have gotten stigmatized, made a promise, and now they need to say they're sorry for this affair. Okay then, Gemini. Alright, Spirit. What would you say to Gemini about their money? There's going to be a change. You're going to have a change, easy does it, and crafter. Alright, what else, Spirit? Motivator. Hold on, Miss Mary's calling me. 
Sorry for the interruption. So it's saying you're going to have change. Take it easy. You have a crafter and motivator. All right. Anything else Gemini needs to know about money? Your emotions are here. Envy. Stability. And the people you spend the most time with shape who you are. So somebody has a lot of envy about stability and who you spend time with. All right. Can you, can you talk to me about this envy? Spirit, clarify this envy. Let's see. Let's get this deck. Why is envy here? Because of this emperor in reverse. There's jealous. Show me what this jealousy is about. The Ten of Swords and walking away. Betrayal. Betrayal. Maybe somehow their stability or your stability and clarify walking away and betrayal. That's the secret. What do you mean that's the soul searching? They're soul searching here about what somebody walking away and betraying them. And it's about learning a lesson about what's not forbidden when it comes to a queen of cups, a long wait, and a sexual encounter. This could be a cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. So they've learned a lesson about something that's not forbidden or that they think should be, they think, okay, they've learned a lesson about something that's not forbidden or something that is forbidden. And it's about a long wait <coughs> for a sexual encounter. Clarify this forbidden. They were ghosted and something was, um, they were ghosted because they were not an option. And then the moon is here. This is cancer. They were ghosted because you didn't want to juggle them or something. Clarify the moon. You didn't see what a catch they were or they didn't see what a catch you were <coughs> and they broke up with you. Why a sexual encounter here with long wait? This is somebody who really loves somebody, this Queen of Cups, because of the Hierophant. So maybe they were waiting for, they could have been celibate or they could be waiting for this marriage. Like maybe they wouldn't give you this sex because they wanted you to marry them. Anything else, Spirit? The Six of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, the Hangman, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, the Knight of Wands, and the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So it's like humiliation because of too many people, a third party, and seeing that being unstable and being lustful and a risk taker is leading you to not get an offer or give an offer. Clarify what you mean here. Somebody's humiliated, but they're seeing it differently because of somebody's behavior. The Ten of Pentacles, frozen, cold as ice, dark night of the soul, and the magician. It's like they want to have it all, but somebody has to stop giving mixed signals and forgive. And this is being manifested. Clarify the outcome. Somebody's healing outcome. The King of Wands is here with the King of Cups. Somebody's healing, and there's two masculine energies here. The King of Wands and the King of Cups. Show me how the King of Wands feels. How does the King of Wands secretly feel about Gemini? I feel the sexual tension. I would do it all again and I compare you to others. How does the King of Cups feel? I can't do this. What else do they feel? I want to start over. What else, Spirit? They're waiting patiently. They don't know what you want. 
They want you so badly. They want you back. And I trusted you. How does Gemini feel? I daydream about a life with you. How about the King of Wands? How does Gemini feel about the King of Wands? I saved your text messages. Anything else somebody needs to say here? I am not over you. I admire you. I can't get enough of you, but you broke my heart. Will you ever make things right? <sighs> heartbreaking situation I see you in here, Gemini. Very heartbreaking. Can I get a message, please, for the sign of Gemini out of the inner goddess? Message for Gemini out of the inner goddess, please, Spirit. May I please get a message for Gemini out of the inner goddess? Oh, wait, Gemini. One card, please. Focus your energy, Gemini. Focus on what Spirit wants to say to you. What is your higher self trying to say to you? <laughs> I'll take them both. Shaman of Skulls and Rockstar with Princess Savior on the bottom of the deck. So Shaman of Skulls, number 34. Shaman of Skulls. This is what it means, Shaman of Skulls. In your heart, you have been asking for something different, something more, and the universe is answering your prayers. You do not need to be afraid of the changes happening or that you are, or that are going to happen for you. They are part of the answer from the universe. You might feel uncertain because you cannot see how it is all going to work out. But know that the universe is caring for you and will provide a way to move through the transition with grace. You are not crazy or you're not crazy to willingly enter this experience. There is nothing you need to avoid and so much that you will gain. Something is ending, something that has meant a lot to you. Maybe it's a relationship, a phase of your life, an identity that no longer suits you. Maybe it's an inner ending that you cannot quite articulate, but you feel nonetheless. This is a symbolic death. Remember death, rebirth, death, rebirth? With a greater purpose. The shaman is spiritually trained to overcome the fear of symbolic death and instead of avoiding endings, to willingly go through them with the awareness that an ending is simply the other side of a beginning. The shaman learns that endings happening when something new wishes to be born. The shaman knows that this is ultimately for good and has compassion for the human mind that may still feel very uncomfortable and resistant to the process. So even whilst we may accept the changes, even with gratitude, our minds may feel uncertain and afraid. We might feel confused to try to cling on to what is ending. There are natural human responses to loss, especially when we sense the loss is irreversible and that life will never quite be the same. Be patient with yourself, be kind, but also know that new life is happening for you now according to a higher purpose and a loving plan. Your life is meant to change at this time. Be encouraged from the ashes of this symbolic death, you shall rise again. Place your hands lightly on either side of your head and say aloud, This sacred skull holds the light of wisdom, shining unconditional divine love in all directions now. Use your fingertips to gently massage your head all over, including under your jaw and behind your ears, allowing your head to feel relaxed. All right, and then we have Princess Savior, number 12. Princess Savior. Even if you feel uncertain about facing a challenge, believe in yourself. You are strong enough to conquer this. There will be help if you need it, but you would have the inner resources required to overcome any obstacle and attain the most blessed outcome. If you're in the process of letting go of someone or something, perhaps an old habit, an old way of life, a relationship or a situation in which you have felt trapped, don't allow insecurity or uncertainty to stop you. You've got this, and you are doing the right thing in moving on. And then we have rock star number nine. Rock star. How could I forget rock star for you, Gemini? You may have a subconscious fear of being judged or becoming the target of jealousy that causes you to shy away from the limelight. 
You may mistakenly believe that being in the spotlight means you are supposed to be perfect or better than everyone else. There is a higher purpose than standing apart from the crowd and being seen. Choose to accept the opportunities that make you more visible to others, trusting that you will shine your truth and integrity to make it positive and a healing experience for yourself and for others too. There's a light in you that wants and needs to be seen, a side that is bold, bright, and unique. Even if something's different for you or you aren't sure how comfortable you are, going to be on center stage sometimes there's a higher purpose for you being placed in the spotlight one purpose can be to develop self-acceptance and self-confidence then you can rock your true self without having to tone it down play it safe or rein it in you can become so comfortable in your own skin that you no longer hide your inner divine beauty maybe others will then become less afraid of themselves because you have shown them that being cool is about being cool with who you are refusing to be stereotyped by people with insufficient imagination there's power in the freedom of not fitting in you, rather than someone else, get to decide how you want to live your life. Relish it. Be creative with it. You are meant to be free and express yourself authentically and be seen doing it. So claim your inner rock star and stretch your soul stuff to this world. Sacred Ritual. Play some music that you can rock around in your lounge room to, in the park, on the bench, in your bedroom, in private, in public, however you feel it. Let yourself express you. Dance the way you want to dance. Extra points if it's not in a music video. Sing if you want. Challenge and love yourself enough to practice being completely you. So it's time to come out of your shell and be yourself, Gemini. Spiritual gift messages for Gemini Spirit. You are determined to get a lot of cards. All right, you have protection, loved ones in spirit, an angel, communication, and time with meditation and clouds. So you're protected, your loved ones in spirit are here, an angel is here with communication and timing. So it's like they want to communicate with you about something timing related, and you need to meditate and pay attention to the clouds. Clarify communication. It has to do with money and a promise, coins, your abundance and a promise. And then you have abundance again, get outside and bag of marbles with music under that. Bag of marbles is about feeling like you've lost your mind, diversity. It can be about um, someone you love who's crossed over who had dementia, who is trying to communicate with you. Angels, how are you helping Gemini? They're helping you with your faith, with your sexuality, and with the divine plan. All right, what else, Spirit? Forgiveness, of course, hope, and love. All right, anything else? Healing. With putting things where they need to be for your blessings and mercy. All right, who are you talking to, Spirit, for Gemini? V is in Victoria, F is in Frankie, H is in Hannah, W is in Wayne, N is in Nancy, I is in Isaiah, S is in Samuel. W, W, G, H, M, S, Y, T, C, L, Y, P, A, D. So we have Tan, Tad, Cat, Pat, M, W, D, 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 E, A, M, W, O, J, H, N, F G M M so two M J O J T M T P Y T V U B as in boy B as in boy L as in Linda I as in Isaiah U as in under so I have two U's P, 
as in Pat, B as in boys, Z as in zebra, H as in Hannah, O as in Oscar, R as in Ronald, N as in Nelson. C, V, R, R, F, R, D. A lot of R's. Spirit says you want to ask a question, Gemini. If you're new here, pause the video and think of three questions, and I will try to get you an answer out of these cards. Alright, have you got your first question? Ready? Spirit so says trust within the next few weeks. The answer is no for somebody. Trust within the next few weeks and no. Alright, you got your next question? You ready? Trust again in the near future. All right, one more question. Ready? Pose. Here it says abundance. And on the floor, I had to reach for it. But I have look for a sign within the next few weeks and get more information. All right, I'll let you have one more question in case you needed to reword something. All right, you ready? Success, listen to your intuition, and no need to worry. All right, trinkets, please, spirit, for the sign of God. What trinkets do you have for the sign of God? All right, I have two marbles. Remember the marbles? A skeleton, a cross, a flamingo, a rocket. An infinity sign that says love. A nail. Maybe you're a carpenter or you love one. I have a marble. I have a star that I had tried to get away. Be that rock star. And then I have a heart that says I love you. An angel. A hand. Maybe you're a card player. I have a dragonfly. A pegasus. A tower or an Eiffel Tower. So much of me is made from what I learned from you. You will be like a handprint in my heart forever. A peace sign with a heart. A crescent moon with a star. An elephant. An arrow that says love. A key, a skeleton key. Give a girl the right shoes and she can conquer the world. We are all mad here, Alice in Wonderland. A shell, maybe your name is Shell. I have a little girl with a ball cap something Catholic. I have a piece of tiger's eye and then I have this olive branch for that forgiveness, extending forgiveness. A tree of life, Jesus, a crown, a cobra, a cloud, I love you infinity, made with love, a cross, another cross, a pendulum, two more coins, a tree of life, a bird, a tiny, tiny guitar with two palm trees, another elephant, and a butterfly. <clears throat> Trinkets from this bowl, please, Holy Spirit. All right, I have three keys, a prick or a cactus, a world, an angel, no matter where, another prick or cactus, live, laugh, and love, I love you to the moon and back, the heart in German, a horse, an infinity sign, a cash sign, and a, and a compass. All right, Gemini, let me know by liking the video if you enjoyed it. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. I do upload frequently almost every day, sometimes multiple times a day. And thank you so much for everyone who's been showing participation by liking, commenting, sharing. All of that is so appreciated by me. I love you guys. Namaste.